Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. So today we're going to be making a guide for Lissandra in the top lane. Now, I did already make a few guides for this champion in the past. But today, we're going to be making a new one. So with that being said guys, for the best runes for Lissandra in the top lane, I would recommend going Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Cosmic Insight, and the Bisquid Delivery. Also taking CDR Scaling, for the transcendence and also ap with health scaling now i specifically took health scaling this game because i wasn't sure whether i was playing against your uh your own top lane or swain so that's kind of the reason behind it for the skill order i would recommend maxing q w then e and of course your ultimate and then for the full build i will leave the entire full build inside of the description below so with that being said guys let's cover lissandra today Alright, so this champion is uh, all about having the pressure in lane. Uh, every time that your opponent is going to go for a CS, uh, you can basically uh, throw in a free Q, uh, for also throw in like a free auto. Then again, it really depends on what you're playing against. Right now, we're actually playing against a Swain, which is not really typically a matchup that you see every single day. Um, for instance, if you're playing the Sandra into like a melee matchup, you can actually poke insane amounts with your autos and Qs. Uh, whereas in this matchup, it's kind of like all about just avoiding uh, Swain's combos as much as possible. Let's see here. Now the good thing is like every time that Swain is going to walk up to us, we can try to like... Um... Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. It's gonna be right here with the other guys. I don't think my team notices that this guy is actually here. I don't think they notice. They just walked back, actually. Uh, it's like trading. Um, it's like trading flashes for flash. Unfortunately, my teammates did not notice Wayne moving there. They just walked backwards. They could have had a free kill right there. Kind of unfortunate. There's much I can do about this guy either. They've made a very, very, very big mistake right here. Because we could have had a kill for free. Now I've also missed like a lot of farm as well. That's not very good. We've been missing out a lot to make this work. Alright, no problem. I'm going to go back to base right here. The first item that we're going to be buying is going to be uh, the Luden's Echo. Now, before buying that, I would like to actually get boots because it's going to help us having like a better laning phase. So, we will be going for this first. But anyways, like for the items, I would always recommend taking a Luden's Echo as the first item. As soon as you get the second item, you want to get the Sorcerer's Boots. Eventually, you want to get the Hextech Protobuild. And then you want to get like Rebidans and Void Staff and the Zhanias at some point. That's pretty much going to be like the standard kind of page that you want to go for. This is actually like a perfect moment to TP, except if I TP right now, I'm about to lose like a lot, a lot, a lot of farm. So, I can't do it, unfortunately. If I decide to do it now, he, this guy will be able to like freely push in this wave, which I don't want to give to him. Alright. I'm gonna let these Swain like kind of like drag out the wave towards me. I want to have the lane kind of like frozen around here. Not too much, but I want the the wave to be around this position. Now, usually like on the Sandra, you want to be like trying to like focus on poking as much as possible. But like Swain is like a totally different matchup out of like all matchups. Where it's kind of like all about um, sort of like avoiding him. Because if you get caught inside like one of these combos, then you're going to go down very hard. I got my TP up, but this is definitely not something that I can TP to. Unfortunately. Okay. This guy is slowly starting to run out of mana, so I'm going to take my opportunity here. We're going to start, like, try uh, poking this guy down. Maybe we can actually get a catch on him. We will see about it. Okay. There we go. I have my cookie as well, so this is perfect. I could just receive all my mana back. 
Another Q. That's perfect. Their champion is not here yet because the jungler was bottom like not too long ago. So I don't have to worry yet. I'll just place a ward down now. There we go. As long as we don't get caught, like as long as we don't get caught inside like a jungle ring now, we should be okay because he's actually running out of mana now. He, w he went for the cannon, so I had a free Q on him again. Like typically, like every time your opponent goes for a CS, you can technically like get a free Q off if you, uh, if you do it smart. That was very close. Okay. That's another one. I'm slowly starting to run out of mana right now, so I'll be using one of the uh, one of the cookies here very soon. Oh, I actually missed that one, unfortunately. I'll obviously one of the cookies for the uh, for the mana now. Nice. This guy rarely does like any damage right now, so we can just keep on pushing his out. Nice. Swain can barely like farm on her on her turret because he's missing out on the mana. I'm gonna push this one too, and then we're gonna go back right after. There we go. Pushing as Lissandra is something that's really, really easy to do. It's like not a problem at all. You can just you can just press your Q twice and the entire wave will be gone. Oh I missed that one. I'm not very happy with this. I actually missed the cannon. Alright, no problem. Whatever. So now, something which is going to help me out quite a bit is actually rushing the boots as quickly as possible. And I'm going to get into it why I do this. Now, most of the time, in certain matchups, like specifically Swain right now, uh, the sooner you can upgrade your boots the better it's going to be because by rushing boots you can actually dodge the uh the the combo of swain which is something that's matter that's going to matter quite a lot actually we must dodge swain's combos if you want to survive in lane if we don't dodge those things then it's going to be pretty tough for us now actually i think we can kill swain pretty easily right now it's just that we kind of need like a little bit of attention from the jungler because i can literally come for free with my r my only concern is like shaco's not playing around here there's actually a fight down there right now i'm gonna see if i can actually uh, tp to it I can't TP to it. Like, once again, if I try to TP right now, I'm, ab I'm about to lose, like, an entire plane for free, too. Perhaps, maybe, we could try to, like, uh, get a kill on this guy at some point. Hmm. Let's see here. Alright, that's that's low enough. Now we can actually push the next wave for free. I, th I don't think he's gonna stay right now. I don't think he will. But, like, this is typically the way how you want to play this out. Let's see if he's actually uh, willing to stay right now. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. I also missed my Q down there. But we're already having a massive farming lead over Swain already. Perhaps maybe we did not get a, uh, a kill on this guy yet because he's actually got quite lucky so far. But the truth is like I'm actually ahead of about nearly 40 CS right now which is going to make a huge, huge difference. I'm going to push the next wave and then we're going to be going back right after that. I need to get some, uh, s some more, uh, I need to like refill my mana right, right now. Oh, whoops, I accidentally messed up my W right there. I just want to get the one first plating so that, like, I can finish my item. Oh, we're actually getting some, uh, we're actually getting angry at this guy now. Ah, I'm getting ulted. 
this guy is actually extremely fed right now. He's actually got about five kills. And he actually ganked me through the plant right here. The moment I try to go for the for the two autos, he comes in, takes the play, uh, takes the plants, jumps over my ward, and then just kills me right there. Kind of unfortunate, but then again, it's okay because we're actually like we're having a clear 40 CS difference at the moment. It's pretty huge. All right, uh, let's buy the first part. There we go. I'll also just get it like another ward. It's always going to be useful. I'm going to try to like catch this guy and then walk back top lane. Shaco is not reacting, unfortunately. Okay, we got him. We also got an assist for this. And we can also push out this lane right now. It's okay to get like an assist. It's absolutely fine. I was kind of hoping that I could also get the kill right there, but it's like whatever, so. That's like a Contra Ward down there, but I want to go back top lane. Alright, let's keep him like snowballing through farming. It's kind of like difficult to kill Swain right now. He's going to have to overextend pretty hard if, if we want to kill him right now. I'm sure like our, our opportunity is going to rise up at some point. The enemy jungler is having so much pressure in this game, it's literally making it like so much harder. There we go. He's gonna try to all in me, it's not gonna work out for him. I can actually kill him right now. I just need like a little bit more. Ah, he's, he's got extremely lucky there once again. He's actually got so insanely lucky to make that work out. He actually made it out of this, which is incredible. But I'm going to stay for one more wave. We can deny him at, like an entire wave right now. As soon as it arrives, he's going to go back to base. We, we will get like another push for free. Oh... He's actually back to full health already. He's, I think he used like uh, all the healing from, uh, to the creeps. Alright. Let's get this reset and then we're gonna go back. Everything's okay though. He's slowly starting... Uh, he's slowly running out of mana right now. He's just actually pretty good. But I'll go back anyways. We're gonna have to make a really huge play right now. Like, we are pretty far ahead of our opponent right now. We are actually ahead of, like, 40 CS right now. Uh, what we can also do as Lysandra, it's pretty, like, a broken way to, like, snowball. Is actually, like, roaming mid lane immediately, getting a kill in the mid lane, and then walking back top lane using our ultimate. Actually, I wanna kill this guy pretty bad, but I've got no mid laner. He's actually walking away. Hmm. I was actually kind of hoping that my mid laner would actually stay mid lane because we could have actually had a kill right now for free, right away. But for some reason, the moment I roam to mid lane, Karma is roaming bottom. It's just completely off. I don't quite understand why uh, why Karma decided to walk away from mid lane when I actually walked in for free. Once again, kind of unfortunate. All right, this guy's also getting a few kills. Like the thing right now in this game, it's like this enemy jungler has so much pressure in this game. It's literally making the difference right now. Oh, missed it. Okay, Lillian is probably gonna be topside again. Most likely, I'm gonna have to be careful about it. Okay, Lily is back mid lane. That's good to know. Let's see if this guy's actually willing to stay. We could fight Swain pretty easily. It's just like a matter of just getting like getting him to a certain point, like a like 70% health or so. I'll just push the next wave really hard. 
There we go. Pretty easy to dodge all of this. Karma, oh, I just missed the one. Karma is having a really, really, really bad time. I actually want to like push this wave right now and then immediately row mid right after. But once again, I'm rowing mid lane right now. The tower is going down and Shaco is not there to do anything at all. This is really unfortunate. Like every move that I make, it can't like nothing can be done about it because the te the teammates are not like playing around me at all. They they're just like moving away from me every single time. Kind of unfortunate. I'll have my TP in 30 seconds. That's when we can make like a really huge play right now. Oh. All right, I'll have my item right now. Just need a little bit more. I'll just push the next wave really hard too, and then we're gonna go back right after. There we go. I got something with mi I got something with missing cannons in this video. I don't know. All right, we're gonna be going bottom right now. We're about to get a few kills for free. There we go. And we got the thousand gold on the enemy jungler. This is exactly like the kind of play that I've been looking out to create on Lissandra. I think we could also dive them under turret pretty easily if we do it smart. Uh, never mind, my AD carry is actually walking off. He's probably gonna uh, keep on chasing. He's gonna have to go back. So now we're actually getting extremely fu uh, like extremely fed. Not only do we have like a pretty nice lead over uh, over Swain in the top lane, uh, but let me just quickly buy this. Uh, we also. Let me just quickly buy this too. We also have the thousand gold on the enemy jungler, so this is perfect for us. We're gonna move back top lane. Unfortunately, though, like the Swain actually got the turret here. Not really happy with this, but I actually done like something way, way, way better, which is gonna help us like carry eventually. I missed a cannon again. I missed like four cannons straight up in a row. Uh, unfortunately. Not today is not my day for cannons, like literally. I think I might have to push one more just to ensure it's going to get into the turret. Lily is actually right behind us too. The thing is, like, we gonna we gonna need a fourth person to fight this Lilia because she's actually super fat. Probably vision around here too. Are we taking this uh, this wave here, or this camp? I mean. All right, thank you. We could try to make a play here. Yeah, he flashed away from it. That's fine. That means he does not have flash anymore. Like, the kind of play style that we have right now will eventually turn out into something good. Like, we are constantly, like, pushing down the wave, immediately roaming right after. So Swain uh, is not really doing that much. We're just focusing on, like, outnumbering the enemy team the entire time. Eventually, it's going to pay off. Perhaps, maybe we've only got, like, a couple kills right now, but... There's going to be a time where we, where we will, let, where one of the rooms will succeed. There we go. The uh, Lilia guy is currently on the dragon right now. We're actually having a 60 CS lead over Swain already, which is absolutely massive. Oh, whoops. Alright, there we go. Swain's actually roaming right now, so I'm just going to keep on pushing this out. He's going to lose like another couple waves. Once again, really massive. I'm kind of hoping to get the turret here too. Like, the teammates are actually having a pretty good time right now. That's great. Swain is like falling behind insane amounts right now. There we go. 
All right, now we have this turret too, and we can go back to base with lots and lots and lots of gold. This is really, really good. So now we already have the second item. Swain has literally just finished his first item. We already have this big of a gap between uh, between top right now. That's a huge difference, which is going to allow us to carry soon. Perhaps maybe, you know, the enemy jungler is now super fat. Maybe he's like having like a ton of kills right now, but there's going to be at some point in the game where he will throw even further. As long as we keep on playing like into perfection, they will eventually make mistakes where we get like lots of catches with our ultimate. Like the thing is we can lock down people where, with our ultimate pretty easily, so like that's the kind of beauty about playing the Sandra. Thank you. I still have my item. I could use it to get closer to him. Okay, he's already got him. That's perfect. Let's push this up really fast right now. Nice. We're going to be moving bot lane at the same time. Perhaps maybe we could get a catch on the vein here. All right, we got two kills right there. That's sweet. As you guys can see, you kind of want to have like this this pressuring kind of playstyle where you're constantly like pushing topside and then using it to like roam them to different lanes. This is exactly what you want to do. Nice. We've got another catch. We still have the item too for in case Lily is going to come in. All right, now we can actually go back to base. And now we can buy the next item, which uh, will be the Zanias. Now the Zanias is going to be really useful. I'm going to show you why. I'll take uh, this and this. Now the next item is going to be the Zanias. It's actually a broken item on the Sandra. Because you can actually go in engage on them you can use your zonias you can then use your ultimate right after you can pretty much bait super easily and besides that you also have the transcendence in the ruins which will make you grant more ap uh, i think we can catch him here all right i can lock him with my ultimate let's see I could lock them really, really easily with my ult. Okay, instead of rather just like sin uh, sitting in mid lane, uh, waiting for the opportunity, I'm just going to be splitting bot lane right now until actually something happens. Oh, wait. I think we can, uh, we can kill this guy with a single combo. If he actually comes close, then... We can catch him right here. Thank you very much. Now we can uh, take the dragon within 15 seconds. Like, the, the beauty of Lissandra is like... Since we're playing with 45% CDR, our ultimate is only a total of 55 seconds. So you can like keep on ulting people over and over. This is the beauty of playing like the Sandra top lane. You basically lock people over and over. Mm. Let's see here. I would like to like jump on uh, Lilia right now, but then again, I don't have my Zanias yet. I would like to get that first. I need a little bit more, like 50. Thought I had like 950. Alright, there we go. Let's take this real quick. Like, the Q is such a low cooldown, it literally feels like I'm playing Earth right now. Like, this is like... This is this is like playing Sandra. This is what it's like. Oh, 
Oh, pretty close. Oh, I actually, I think, yeah, I just died to the smite. Oh no, I just died to the item. I did not expect this guy actually to have the light entries. I've done a little, uh, little mistake right there. I think if, uh, I think if my team groups up right now and they give Kaiso the space to like kite, I think we can, uh, they should be able to win this. They should be able to. They just gotta keep going. They gotta keep defending Kaisa. I can TP in 10 seconds right now. I can TP to this ward here. Ah, oh, the ward just expired. I'm probably gonna TP to this. It's probably gonna be worth it. Because we can force the, the turret and the inhib right now if I TP in. Okay, we got it. Would have been pretty smart if Shaker actually decided to stay here with his full health. Alright. We're gonna have to wait for my team to be fully grouping again. Uh, until then, I'm gonna be splitting bot lane as much as possible until they group up for the Baron. We just wanna focus on splitting right now as much as possible, like trying to see if we can perhaps maybe get a catch on the way. We don't want to walk circles in mid lane, we just want to keep on pressuring over and over. Let's see if I can catch this guy. Where's just like a 4 level difference right now? Hmm, he's not bothered to try because I can kill him with like a single combo. That's why. Besides that, I have 45% CDR, so it's going to be pretty tough for him. All right, we gotta keep on splitting this out. My teammates are currently grouping top lane, grouping at the Baron. As soon as this guy, this little guy, actually gets out of here, I'm gonna be roaming too. They're gonna, they're gonna start grouping for the Baron now. Gotta move. I gotta be avoiding this Lilia though. Like the good thing is, like she's the jungler who has to smite, and she's currently like sitting here with me. This is gonna be a good opportunity for my team to actually like get a good Baron off. Oh, she should ult me right there. Let's see what I can do. I gotta, I gotta fight this guy. He's too strong for me. This guy keeps on chasing me down, though. He's gonna keep on chasing me down. This guy just wanna keep on chasing me. He just, he just chased me throughout the entire map. So my team actually just cut the Baron right here. They completely won the entire team fight due to like the jungler actually following me. They also won the Baron right there. And meanwhile, this jungler just chasing me down all the way using his summoner spells, using everything else. <laughs> That's actually 100% worth it for us. Like, no doubt about it. We've won, we've won so much right there. That's so good. Alright, let's buy some more AP right now. So... There's two things we can do. We can go for Void Staff, or we can go for the Rabidans. Now, ultimately, it really depends on what you want to buy. Ultimately, like, if the enemy team has lots of AP, uh, I mean, lots of magic resist, you want to eventually just get, like, a Void Staff. But if, if they don't really have that much, like, magic resist, you can just go for Rabidans, too. Alright, let's get this dragon. I want to try to use my ultimate on the jungler. We can like easily kill him before he can do something. Actually, I'm going to use something. There we go. We've took Vayne out, which is huge. Uh, we got this guy. All right, perfect. Now we can push bottom. I think we could even end the game. Uh, we can just end the game right here. And we've got this guy too. I think we can just end the game right here. We could just keep pushing, like it's only gonna be vain. I could just lock it lock her with my ultimate. I don't know why Karma's going back there, like we could just end right here. Alright, she's using our TP. 
I can use my ultimate to save myself. And there we go. Anyways, this is pretty much how you play the Sandra in the top lane. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to check out my stream if you want to if you want to see like more challenging gameplay and all the stuff. Basically, streaming like six times a week. But anyways, thank you for watching today, and to see you guys soon. Take care.